Welcome to another episode of Tube Test. We have had a busy month filming the Mike documentary, The Mike Movie. We've been everywhere from California to Kansas to Chicago. Oh man, it's been a lot of fun. It kind of feels like the Johnny Cash song, I've been everywhere, man. I finally got a chance to sit down and finish my do-it-yourself microphone. This microphone I actually started off with the Royer version of a U47, a kit that he made years ago and there is an article in Tape Op. It features an EF732 tube, a Jensen transformer, and works off of an MXL microphone. So what I did is I took the circuit that I had built and put it in the Equinox system EQ 47 mic kit that you can purchase from Equinox Systems. I had a chance to try out all kinds of different capsules. I tried the RK47, the RK12, even a K67, an original one, a K47, and I found this M7 Dale Ulan inspired M7 capsule made in America. <laughs> Pretty amazing. And I settled with that one. That one sounded the most smooth of all the capsules and sounded full and warm and didn't have that sibilance that a lot of inexpensive capsules have. I've been traveling so much and I realized that protecting the microphone is one of the most important things to do. So what I do is I actually put it in a Pelican case and I cut out the foam for a place where I can put the cables and the power supply and the microphone itself but these cases protect it from elements and I'm also able to throw it onto an airplane, put it underneath the airplane and it comes out of the baggage terminal and it's fine and it takes the shock really well. So let's open up this Equinox Systems mic kit and see what I've done. And I've got my Dale Ulan M7 inspired capsule. And the mount and the capsule is just, it looks fantastic and it sounds fantastic. So what I have here is an EF732 or a 5840 tube. It's a common tube that a lot of microphone manufacturers are using. Um, it's very clean, they're easy to come by and it's just an easy tube to work with. Kind of reminds me of an AC701 tube. I've got my caps and my resistors. There's so much room down here to put a bigger output transformer. Right now I have a Jensen output transformer, but I could put a BV-8 or a larger uh, output transformer in here. It's got so much room to do so. So I'll put it back together and it goes back together pretty quickly. So let's warm it up and test it out. A lot of people will ask me, is the audio going straight to the camera or how I'm recording a lot of these samples? Well, I'm actually recording it straight into Pro Tools and I'm wired here with a wireless microphone and I sync them up. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna record and test this microphone and send it to Pro Tools and then sync it up when I'm editing in Final Cut Pro. So we've got my do-it-yourself microphone warmed up and ready to go with a Dale Ulan inspired M7 capsule, a Dave Royer circuit, and an Equinox Systems EQ47 mic kit body. So here we go. Down among the shelter in palms, oh honey wait for me, honey wait for me. Don't be forgetting we've got a date. Out where the sun goes down about eight. How my love is yearning, yearning, yearning. How my heart is burning, burning, burning to go down. Among the shelter and palms, oh honey, wait for me. <laughs> it sounds fantastic. It's always a little scary when you first turn on the microphone for the first time. <laughs> is it going to turn on? 
but everything sounds fantastic. Now I gotta find a shock mount. Next time on Tube Test, we get to go to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, hang out with Bob Paquette, check out the Mic Museum, and we get this history and evolution of the microphone book. This thing is huge and has a lot of information on microphones. Next time on Tube Test. Caffeine today. Ah!